What's going on, everybody? Time for a little YouTube recap. Uh, slow video posting here as I was pretty sick the last three days here, just still struggling. So as we get through these videos, we will uh, catch the best we can, as accurate as we can. I might just be a little under the weather and slow, so bear with me. Excuse me, so bear with me. So uh, we had a ultra long bias today in chat after this little washout here in pre-market. And uh, if you've been following the predictions, we have, um, let's do a small recap here, an opportunity to test gap. And we have a ton of gaps to worry about here. So for my crew, on the Friday gap down that we have right here on the FIB box, we put a high-low FIB. And we said anything over under that 50 is going to be long and push back into the gap. And this is what I told everybody yesterday on Monday. And this is what we told everybody today, that it will push into the gap and potentially as higher as 505, 506. And we have some uh, specific algos for that as well. But we did push into that gap. We did go long from here. We put in a huge long move today um, for that, which was absolutely fantastic, exactly to the call and what we needed here. So one thing to note, even in pre-market, right, this thing had came down to the triple gap, right? This gold, the huge barrier right here is that triple gap. No fill level under 493.84, and the biggest fill is 492.53 and or the lowest. So when you come back down here to that daily chart, you look at that gap it's not one it's not two it's three massive daily gaps that we have right there and to the bottom which is this red candle gap and go here that got bought back up right ahead of this 50 sma in the red we have a big channel to deal with as support now in pre-market it came way down to the top of that channel today and then snapped right back up and that was our whole thesis of the day it, it, the usual is on a gap down double so we're again dealing with one gap and two gap from the top side we put in a monster candle and then we just draw a fib high low and we utilize the golden pocket for direction, right? So Monday and today, we both looked at long positions from the golden pocket, even with that huge scam down all the way down here. Um, and this was what uh, my trade consisted on SPY this morning. And we called that SPY was not going to leave a gap and go to the downside, just long anything at the open above VWAP. And then we're going to get the uh, long moves going for the day. So we opened up, went long right here at VWAP and pre-market, rode it to yesterday's lows, took off a big chump, came back down, seen the consolidation right here above VWAP, as we called as well, went long to that 100 EMA, and then she just had a beautiful long day uh, cruising, right? And again, the gap down candle from Friday on the big wash has a 50 fib through it, or it should, depending on what chart here I'm looking at. Um... Bam. So on the SPY, same exact thing. Uh, we said it was going to push into the gap, and most likely today even, um, and then we're going to look for that continuation downside. Uh, and again, this pushed into that five needed the gap, just last like hour here, just pushing up. Uh, and oddly enough, we don't have any back test of confirmationals on the 100 or uh, anything like that. So this actual failure right here coming back down, uh, we're going to be looking for that five minute 100 EMA as a confirmational back test. Eventually, I don't know if we're going to drop it today, but if it holds till tomorrow and we do not get a price action tag uh, back test of this 100 EMA as price action broke above it right here, we don't have a back test uh, to go continue that upside. We'll look for that magnet tomorrow. But we finally pushed into the gap, and that was our huge trade thesis. So my chat was ready to go along for the whole day and over under the 50 fibs, right? And uh, we uh, went straight long and then we tagged the gap. Now, this is where the big pieces to the puzzle come in because we have NVIDIA earnings after hours tomorrow. And my assumption is we're either going to tag this gap close here because we're going to have to pay attention to this high close too um, over here. And what that means is we actually got to pay attention to this top gap right there because it's past our second gap. So gap number one is higher, obviously, than gap number two. So the two levels that we're going to be watching for, depending on what NVIDIA does, depending on what we get overnight here, are going to look very similar to this. Now we pushed into that gap level, right? Right here, because we are over the fib of the Friday gap candle. So this is all into the gap. And then we have the secondary gap fill up here at 593. Two things are going to happen. We're either going to grind into that gap, just do this, no fill, and then NVIDIA earnings after hours is going to pull this down. Or this thing is going to keep the ripper out all the way up, fill both gaps, and then we have no idea what NVIDIA is going to do because that leaves a very big technical analysis graveyard here for a double gap fill uh, scenario on the top side of things. Although we still have a double down here on SPY and a triple on QQ. Now, again, we did break into that right here just a little bit the last um, uh, from Friday in the last trade days into that 584, 585 area and then pushed up to that gap. 
but nowhere near a fill, right? And usually that first kind of sequence into the gap gets bought back up. Let's say it pushes to this gap, and then we start heading back down. That's my plan. That's option A. And I would like to see a push into five, 593 area. Even leaving a gap here would be my main concern, is leaving a gap and then going to chase the lower gaps here first for the rest of November, come down, and then most of December, and then maybe peak back up for the Santa Rally late December. We'll have to see where we are because we're still watching confirmations. And we've got that big snap under the 10 SMA, but the 10 SMA is still pointed straight up, as you can see here in the blue. And we did just open wash and then consolidates pretty much at engulfing candles from that gulf, from the gap down on Friday. We, we haven't done a whole lot except for pulling the long all the way back to the gap uh, today. So uh, with that being said, for our, our live trade chat, that's what we did in our Discord. That's where we made most of our moolahs here. And I do want to grab... Our anchors. This was another big setup here that we had. We had a bunch of QQQ anchors that had zero tags. And what anchors are, they're uh, anchors, uh, they're, they're VWAPs anchored to a certain point on the chart. And we had probably three, four of these things earlier uh, before the uh, Friday washing that all had no tags, but we had a very specific one sitting way up here. And I wasn't too concerned with him until he got through the uh, uh, first two anchors to the top, but that was another piece of the pie that we said the target could easily go back over 500 and another 80 points above an NQ if we made it through these anchor view apps. So these anchor view apps are specific to where they have no tags. These are made at the end of yesterday. And then this guy is way back uh, at the end of Wednesday last week. We got a little tip into it right there. And if we actually go to the 15, that does change a little bit, but we were gonna track that back down for an extra confirmational tag. Now we did get those anchors um as well and that's that's the whole jam so the prediction for the move coming up here right because we had all these confirmations of long today we had a beautiful long call continuation i i think it's all up to nvidia's earnings after hours tomorrow so we might get kind of a staticky chop into those daily gaps and just not sequence out a super smooth move because this is going to be like a you know a big psychological catalyst if you've been watching the market for Oh, I don't know, any time at all, you'll know that there is no such thing as the S&P 500. It's the S&P NVIDIA. It's the chippers. It's the AI. It's the hype, right? So that's uh, the one thing that's going to be probably, you know, our, our magnificent seven here. NVIDIA's six of those seven right now coming into earnings and see how these algos are going to rip her off. And it's going to be pretty interesting. So when we come down to the three gap narrative here, this one is going to be that magnet. My prediction, um, let's go over it one more time here, just to be specific, is a push into the gap, Okay daily, no matter how far it goes, uh, we're going to come up to 506.61 at the minimum. So into tomorrow, my guess is a further push into the gap. Um, and we'll confirm that by holding the top of the gap candle. So as long as support is 503.35, we'll run 506.61. Okay. And then when that happens, I don't really care what happens after that, because NVIDIA earnings, if the gap closes way up here, and uh, again, this gap is a, is a smidge higher, even on QQQ, we just did this on SPY, but we'll do it here on Q as well. We'll put that at 508.16. That's where the gap fill is going to be. On the major, larger one, and then the small one up here is that higher gap, right? Um, so as we pushed into it a little bit today, I think we're going to open. As long as we stay above 503.35, we can creep up to about 506. Best case scenario is it leaves the gap up here unfilled and just closes down for the day. And then NVIDIA earnings puts in just the nastiest uh, downside candle ever. And then we go leave these gaps open, the double gap. Even if it pushes into it, we fail, right? Because first gap tag, which is today, we had that magnet call up. Um, usually it can fill the next day, but less likely. I think we're going to come down here and chase the triple gap for sure for a fill uh, before anything else. But even if NVIDIA pushes up just a little higher expectation, that's still going to be a boom low to boom lower high to boom lower low. And we will end up catching the 50 and the 100 EMA on this dump if NVIDIA is the catalyst. And again, that's an if the video is the catalyst. If it wants to blow back up and just open up above the gaps and just goes crazy and buy NVIDIA, well, we're just going to respond to the market. We are confirmation traders and we respond to the chart that's in front of us. We don't guess too far out. We work on those confirmations, right? So I think we have a really good setup actually coming into the end of the week. It just depends what NVIDIA wants to do. So as we push into my long call about 506.61 here, another gap push, I hope to leave the gap open, design a candle that looks like this with a wick. This gap stays open, even if price action comes up, right? To 506.61 still leaves a sliver gap right here. And then it fails miserably, comes to the triple, and that will be the NVIDIA sell. And then continuation for us the week down to our targets. 
Will we get it this week? I don't know. The market does whatever it wants. It's not our job to predict that far way out as day traders day in, day out. It's the same day calls that we look for. And unless we're swinging something that has a specific setup and there is no specific setup when the entire market rides on NVIDIA's earnings. So um, as we are through that 500 psychological, again, I think uh, a big precursor to that downside is going to be staying under that 500, which we should do as well. And those are the predictions. I think NVIDIA earnings is going to be the key um, to directional. And again, we don't really guess. So we'll just wait till NVIDIA earnings comes out, trade the futures appropriately, as we always try to do. And that's that. So thanks a lot for tuning in and tune into the next. If you want to trade live with us every single day, the link is in the description. Uh, we trade futures daily. We give out looks on stock options or whatever else you want to do. We have a great options mentor as well in our Discord. Come check it out and we'll see you then.